what is what is Embark's relationship with sort of states and and local municipalities and things like that? It, like, do you have people you're interacting with and they they get it, or or are you sort of putting up a facade to? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. So we are a homeschool resource center on paper. Yes. We're also a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So we have had so much support from the community. The very first day we were open, people left and they went in this walk in town and I think they went to a playground and, and the police came, somebody called the police. And so <laughs> this, this police officer comes in and he was like, what's going on? I, people, kids, kids are leaving this building and walking out of the building. They sh why aren't they in school? And so Andrea explained what we were and what we do. And this police officer goes, oh, wow, I wish this had been around when I was a kid. <laughs> and so, and so that's what we end up getting from a lot of people. I yeah. wish this had been around when I was a kid. And we haven't really run into anybody that hasn't been excited about what we do. We're the only one like us in Virginia, which is such a bummer. So people are kind of, you know, proud of that, that we're part of our community. I was joking around with some of the members with our social media account. And I was saying, you know what we should do? We should go to all the stores that you guys shop at and do a, who are the people in your neighborhood from Mr. Rogers? And then of course they're like, who's Mr. Rogers? And then I feel really old. <laughs> but <laughs> But yeah, so far everything is is great. So yeah, we we are a homeschool resource center, and that's how we are you know functioning here. Mm -hmm. We love being a nonprofit. We have need based financial aid for people, and that's been really helpful for some families. We really want to build, you know, financial diversity as well as all the other diversities too. So right. So so how how geographically wide do you draw from like is it oh, is it pretty far yeah it's pretty far so we're in uh loudon county which is sort of the northwestern part of virginia and we have people coming from fredericksburg which is about two hours away wow. we have another person coming from maryland and they stay they they do like a short-term rental mm. it's it, and um, we don't want that that's not what we want we would love every community to have a place like us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's it, it's we're grateful for the people that come to us from far away but we recognize that's such a hardship and a sacrifice for their families and we're grateful to the parents that drive and the carpoolers yeah so we we have we have local people that can ride their bikes in or walk in, but then we have people that travel an hour or more. Wow. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.